Good morning, Sarah Smith Superstars. Today is Thursday, February the 4th, and we are so excited you are here with us this morning. Good morning, everybody. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and our school pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and liberty and justice for all. And now for our school pledge. Today I pledge to do my best for myself, my school, my country, and my world. I will listen, I will learn, I will work hard, and I'll treat others with respect. Now for a moment of silence. Thank you. You may now be seated. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today, our SEL competency is relationship skills. This month, our SEL book of the month is a book of poems titled, I Am Loved by the world-renowned African-American poet, Nikki Giovanni. You may have read one of her poems in class. Let's read the last stanza from her poem, I am a mirror. I reflect the strengths of my people, and for that alone, I am loved. Let's check in. Think of how you are feeling right now. Choose an emoji that represents how you feel. Let's take a couple of belly breaths and visualize the emoji you want to be. Remember, a belly breath is a deep, slow breath in through the nose and out through the mouth. Now, why don't you take three? Great job. You are a mirror for all the love and strength of your family. What choices will you make today to show your strengths? We hope you all have a fantastic Thursday. Good morning, Sarah Smith Superstars. As learners of International Baccalaureate, we strive to change the world every day. Please remember this quote by Lena Waith. The only way to see change is to help create it. Today's Black History Fact of the Day. Most of us, myself included, have been taught that Rosa Parks was the first Black woman to refuse to give up her seat on the bus. This is not true. In actuality, the first Black woman would, came before Rosa Parks by nine months. She was a 15-year-old young lady named Claudette Colvin who refused to give up her seat on the bus the police were called. She was charged with assault, battery, and defiance segregation laws. Well, why do we hear that Rosa Parks is the first? Rosa Parks was chosen as the spokeswoman for refusing to give up her seat on the bus because she was fairer skinned, she was already an established leader in the black community, and she was not a minor. Claudette was only 15. But please remember, Claudette Colvin was the first black woman to refuse to give up her seat on the bus. She is currently still alive and 81 years old. for today are, today is day two, day two in our specials rotation. We are celebrating National School Counseling Week, so everyone remember to give Miss McDaniels a huge shout out for all of her work as your school counselor. Go superstars! Looks like we have another cloudy day ahead of us with a high near 57 degrees. There are no birthdays for today, February 4th, but I will be back tomorrow. Superstars, we hope you all have a great day on this thrilling Thursday. Remember to be kind, to help others, and make a difference. Goodbye, everybody.